Why do good people have a bad time with success? And how can they change that? Hello everybody. Real kick to be here with NTA World on its meteoric journey. I'm Zareen Swamy, former finance leader and now the ethical badass. Wait a minute, the ethical badass? What's that? I belong to the Tambram community of India. This is a community that is known for, apart from the amount of idlis and dosas that we consume on a regular basis, we are known for our intelligence. Nearly everybody from this community aims at an admission into the prestigious IITs and IIMs of India, the two mainstay educational institutions. My family was the same. एक टाइम था जब मुझे लगता था कि फैमिली रियूनियन अगर करना हो तो कोई आईआईएम या आईआईटी के रियूनियन में चले जाओ पूरी फैमिली तो वहीं पे मिल जाएगी बट इट इज टफ टू गेट एन एडमिशन इन टू दीज इंस्टीट्यूशन इन फैक्ट देर इज अ सेंग इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इफ यू डोंट मैनेज टू गेट इन टू दी आई एम्स चर अप ड्यू दस ऑलवेज हावर्ड आई कुड एन मेक इट I couldn't afford Harvard either. My parents were sick with worry about me. They worried I wouldn't be able to pay my bills without a stable job. It's tough you see in a country where there is a lot of competition and a lot of good competition at that to make your mark. I did get a job. It is there that I learned of an other way to succeed without needing a prestigious degree under your belt. I have seen corporates for 16 years at close quarters working in various capacities at various companies. My roles, responsibilities, teams and industries changed at regular intervals. One factor, one factor however was a constant over the span of all these years. The unhappy faces that I saw around me. We are all aware of the many poll studies that have been conducted on employee engagement at workplaces. They all say that almost 85% that's a staggering number of employees are unhappy in their jobs. The reasons could be many, career stagnation, maybe some of them are not getting promoted to the next level, not getting a breakthrough at higher levels of the hierarchy. some might be in a debt trap this is especially true for mid career mid life uh, employees they might be feeling helpless in the face of a sudden crisis like the current one and so many more reasons but but the hidden thread that runs through all unhappy employees is the same it is the belief that to succeed one needs to compromise on integrity and indulge in negative politicking the other way that i talked about earlier there is this bubble around success that we as a society have created normal good people like you and me the acche log as a consequence think that we are too average to ever succeed we feel the only way we can move ahead in life is by indulging in things that let's be honest make us uncomfortable and unhappy doing whatever it takes backstabbing negative politics promises that don't ring true these are all routes that are technically available to us right it is also now our responsibility to burst this bubble around success ye ek bhram hai it's a myth so i have set out to answer this question why do good people have a bad time with success and how they can turn the tide in their favor at the ethical badass factory it is this bubble that we are bursting every day with the message that corporate success need not mean having a high iq or a compromise of character the fair play model which we have developed is at the core of our teachings it combines ethics with these cool and smart career advancement techniques which will help you forge ahead while keeping your integrity intact I love it when my clients turn into ethical badasses. It's proof to me that good people can thrive and succeed. In fact, you are the ethical badass if you think radical, if you first accept the challenge and then figure out how to win, if you speak up for yourself and for what is right, if you have the courage to do the things that others only dream about, if you never give up or give in and you live by a strong moral code. 
The Ethical Badass Factory helps job seekers, career changers, and most importantly, those who are going through a career crisis and or seek career growth. This is what we can do for you. We build careers by shaping characters. We cultivate the success mindset in our clients. We build our clients' personal brand. This is especially important for mid-career executives, many of whom have not really thought about building a brand around their um, unique skills and talents. We coach on networking and we teach our clients to use this tool for their professional growth. We teach our clients how they can use the corporate language to their benefit and overcome bad politics. Very important to distinguish there the difference between good and bad politics. We give our clients strategies to be crisis ready and help them create a supplementary source of income for themselves that they can rely on in the absence of or even along with a job. We provide ancillary services like optimizing LinkedIn profiles and resumes and intensively prepping for interviews. My portfolio apart from this, check out my blog at https.zareenswami.com. It has insights on ethical badassery, career crisis abatement, leadership learnings, building brand you and acquiring what I call a success aptitude, the level of happiness needed to succeed as well as the aptitude needed to succeed. As I progress on this journey, I learn something new every day which finds its way into my blogs. I am sharing what I have learned so far in an upcoming book. I am an active member of Toastmasters and a professional speaker on all things ethics and all things badass. I am a co-author of Being Employable, a mega collaboration by the JJ School of Employability. On a very personal level, I am a limited human. By virtue of being a human, I draw my own boundaries, hence I am limitless. I am a believer in the goodness of the human race. I believe we humans can master collective consciousness to stand up against who we are today and become greater versions of ourselves. At an existential level, I am a social entrepreneur doing my bit to better a few of the flaws that I see in the society I live in. I am a mother to a four-month-old, a writer, a speaker and wish to be an agent of change. This is who I am, the ethical badass.